whatever format you selected and then when it's done it'll upload it to the server so very nice and very convenient and if you're doing a lot of conversion kind of stuff definitely a, a, a good tool what I mean by that doing a lot of conversion Sorensen squeeze and other video converters are used see what I do and what you'll be doing if you do this kind of work is you create not a whole lot of videos you might do five or six videos a day maybe not even that much you might do three or four so that's not such a big deal the automation stuff but what Sorensen is kind of geared towards is let's say that you had a uh, hundred VHS uh, tapes that were copied or digitized onto the computer and you wanted to convert all of them to mp4 or to flash even or to uh, some other type of format it makes it real convenient and easy to do that kind of stuff and then of course it'll automatically upload when it gets done so that's what those kinds of editor or those kinds of uh, converters are geared towards for us we're gonna create a video we might work all day on one video and then at the end, we're just going to go ahead and encode one video and convert it to a different format. So that kind of stuff is not quite as important. But that is basically the uh, the applications that I use. Again, we talked about the equipment. I almost forgot I was going to let you know the ones that you definitely need to start with. And here we go. Camtasia Studio, I highly recommend that you start with that because you're going to make, uh, there's there's opportunity for a lot of money in doing any kind of tr uh, training and demos and stuff like that. Even presentations. And I'm not, uh, like, it's not necessarily doing a training on some type of computer program. A lot of times I have customers that they want me to do training on some uh, topic and it's not necessarily a computer or anything that's related to a computer but you can do that with Camtasia if you use like for example PowerPoint so PowerPoint is another application that I recommend you definitely start with so we've got Camtasia we've got PowerPoint and then I would say the next thing the next most important thing would be a video editor a real high-end video editor like Sony Vegas Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro of course you also need an FTP client that's definitely critical uh, to be able to upload the files to servers and all that kind of stuff so those are the programs you definitely have to start with and then as you master those and you want to make things a little bit more robust then you can start adding some of the other applications all of this the beauty of working online is that all of this can be outsourced so for example let's say you had uh, somebody contact you and they wanted something created and they wanted it to be a little bit fancy maybe with an opening screen uh, or some music or something put in there and let's say you don't do graphics yet you just started doing this and you're not really you don't have Photoshop you're not into it yet you can go to some of the sites that I'm gonna tell you actually the same sites that you're gonna go to find work you can post jobs there and you can get somebody to create you know an opening screen for you in Photoshop but this should be a good enough place for you to start by no means does this mean that everybody that does what I do uses these exact programs by no means does it mean that uh, there are other applications that people like to use there are different ones that they like to use I'm sharing with you what I use and I'm quite successful with it so let's go ahead and end this video in the next one we're going to discuss how to find clients. I'm going to show you where to go to look for those clients. We're going to talk about finding the kind of jobs that you want to work with. We'll go through the whole bidding process, how to structure your pricing so that you can bid accurately. And I want to talk to you about communicating with the client also.